today we are going to share with you the investor briefing. So that's how this is how we'll do it. So we'll start with the operational performance update. Then I'll go over the key management actions and we'll give you a summary for our future about how to build a resilient supply chain. So for the first part, uh, James will go over with the operational performance review. Hi, morning uh, everyone. Uh, this is James Spears. Now uh, let me introduce uh, our uh, MedTech 2020 uh, operating results. MedTech has been a leading PPE and hospital service provider for more than 30 years. We established in since uh, 1989. List this um, stock, uh, Singapore Stock Exchange in 1999 and the uh, Taiwan Stock Exchange in 2002. Now we have already uh, filed our transferring uh, from Catalyst 4 to MEM 4. We have uh, 7,500 employees worldwide and we export, export to more than 30 countries. We are the biggest uh, key non-China based PP supplier. And we also the key partner uh, with Taiwan government and Singapore government for the national stock piping. In 2020, our revenue uh, surge following the increase of a PPE demand. As you can see on the left hand side, our uh, overall years uh, revenue reached to 400 million. If we do the breakdown for the second half, we uh, managed to uh, reach the 237 million sales. If you look at the right hand side, for the revenue breakdown by business segment and geography. As you can see, our man manufacturing sectors count for around 88% of sales. And the uh, hospital service count for 4% sales. And trans trading and distribution sales count for 8% sales. In terms of the geographies, as you can see on the right hand, right -hand corners, our uh, uh, sales from Asia region uh, around 49% and uh, from the Europe is 29% and North America is around 70%. And the most, uh, I think the biggest milestone is we explore the Australian market. It counts for 5% of the total sales. Next slide. As you can see on the left hand side, our uh, gross profit in 2020 is around 172 million. In terms of the net profit, is around 132 million. And you can see it on the right, right hand side. Our uh, gross profit margin, I would like to give you the breakdown <coughs> quarter by quarter. For our overall years, our GP margin uh, remained at our, got a very big increase at to the 43% and net profit margin is around 33%. And for the quarter by quarter, uh, our first quarter GP margin is around 18%. And the second quarter, our GP margin is 36%. And our peak uh, GP margin is in the third quarter, got a 53%. And in the fourth quarter, we still remain a very uh, robust uh, profit margin at 48%. And in terms of the net profit margin, our first quarter net profit margin is around 9% and increased to the second quarter 29% and third quarter is around 37 and fourth quarter we got 42%. I think that for this slide, I would like to add more color for this. Aside from the excellent operational results of 2020, there are three factors I would like to highlight to our investor. Firstly, we have demonstrated our commitment to our core customer via the outsource to the non-key com component to our strategic partner. So we can uh, expand our capacity to meet uh, their demand in a very short time. Secondly, our own brand product sells to the customer. It helps company to enjoy a higher profit margin 
and we also earn their trust and recognition. And lastly, with regard to new customer contribution, via the e-commerce platform, our sales team has successfully explored new customers from different regions. Now they are trying their best to build more sticky relationship with them. And so now we have seen a very positive feedback from this client. Next slide. As you can see on the right hand corners, our cash flow from our operating results uh, generate around 101 million uh, cash flow. So company can use it to support our capex in 2020. And also we pay back some bank loan uh, around six, uh, 60 million. As you can see the left hand corner, our debt to equity ratio down from the 0.7 to 0.2. And uh, nowadays uh, we managed to pay the uh, dividend to our client. As you can see, if we, based on our announcement, based on the current price, our dividend years <laughs> is around uh, 6%. Now I hand it over to William. All right, thank you, James. All right, then I'll go over the management actions with you guys. Well, in 2020, it's an exceptional year with unprecedented challenges and opportunities. So we rose to the occasions and challenges. We ramp up our product production capacity, but with very big flexibility to meet the demand surge and transform ourselves into a global leading PPE supplier and manufacturer. And we also provide uh, PPE stockpiling solutions for our customers. So in 2020, we also created an opportunity for Metex Group to launch our B2C service, which is called the Metex Express. We'll have a QR code at the end of the, the last slide. So for 2021 and onward, we'll focus on creating sustainable business growth by making the best of our cash positions and competitive strength. We'll pursue long-term recurring orders, uh, part partnering up with our key industry players, upstream and downstream with uh, by joint ventures or MNA. We'll also form strategic investment uh, to further create values for all stakeholders. This chart is our development uh, roadmap, and I want to focus on 2020 and 2021 because that's when we become a totally different company. So last year, we positioned ourselves as a one-stop shop for PPE. We also commenced B2C e-commerce platforms like uh, eBay, Amazon, 7-Eleven, you name it. We expanded our online and offline sales and distribution channels network. And we also set up our uh, distribution centers worldwide. We have uh, warehouse and logistic capabilities in US, Europe, Japan, and Canada. But for 2021, we'll focus on the integration, vertical and horizontal integration. We'll also work on becoming the global stockpiling center and provide our customer with global procurement platform service. Here is what we do. So for integration, we partner up with key raw material suppliers and industry players. Uh, we've already made announcements uh, to share with everyone that we uh, partner up with Mitrex, the leading uh, fabric raw material supplier in Taiwan. They will set up their uh, production line in our compound to better service our demand. We also joint venture with ACO, which was released yesterday. They are the key uh, player in US market. And together, we'll explore more opportunities to meet the uh, PPE demand now and post-COVID. 
And we also launched Metex Shield product line, which is an antiviral focused collection, which I will uh, share with you more later. And we also extended more sales channels online and offline. And number two, we are doing our job to become the global stockpiling services. And I'll update you guys with our uh, status and progress. And for number three, by acting as the global procurement platform, and this is not a concept. We are already providing our customers with more and more products and services. So let me elaborate a bit more. So in 2020, we announced our partnership with MyTrex. Remember in 2020, how it, it was quite difficult to get the raw material for PPEs, especially for the filtration material. I, re I remember uh, back in 2020, the filtration material actually uh, cost so much, the raw material price went up by 6,000, 7,000% during uh, first two quarters. And now we have the top brand, MyTrex, to set up their own production line in our production compound in the Philippines to ensure reliable and cost-effective supply of raw materials. We're also in the talks with other raw material suppliers like SMS and PE, PP materials. We're also talking with uh, suppliers to partner up to develop new product lines, such as gloves, syringe, rapid test kits. So we are doing a vertical integration. We're also broadening up our product portfolio, our offerings. So you'll see um, Medtex branded ventilators and nebulizers in different markets. So that's what our effort expand our reach uh, upstream and downstream and our product portfolio in order to secure long-term supply agreement with these uh, major group purchasing organizations worldwide, especially in the US. And recently we re uh, entered into a joint venture agreement with a group of experienced and established professionals with their knowledge and know-how in medical product supply chain. We think with their help and expertise and our advantage, we will uh, have a strong bonding and form a resilient supply chain. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you uh, my uh, new Metex branded products is called the Metex Shield collection. We're going to launch five products to begin with, and soon more products will be released. So I believe in the past four or five months, we already heard about the concern over the disposable PPEs like uh, face mask and ISO gowns. Some people voice out their concern about uh, environmental issues like pollutions because now every month we might consume over 100 billion pieces of face masks, uh, let alone other uh, PPEs. So of course, this, be uh, this becomes a challenge for us to conquer. So with the Metex Shield series, the first one, the weekly disposable mask, it not only offers you better protection, with the antiviral function, you can also wear it for five to seven days. So instead of using five masks, seven masks a week, you only need one now. For the spray, it's very easy. It kills virus, bacteria, and molds. So of course, you'll want it in your pocket anytime. For the stylus or stylus pen, it's a nano-enhanced stylus that provides a zero-touch solution for public surface. You can imagine um, when you walk into an elevator to your office building, when you want to press the floor button, 
guess how many people already touched that same button in the same day? I don't know, 50, 100? What if someone um, has uh, some, it's, it's like a confirmed case, but they don't know, but you just happen to press the same button as she, he or she does. So it's very important to protect yourself and your loved one with a stylus pen. You can press the floor button. You can use it to work on your cell phone. It's very convenient. And I think everyone must have one at least. And for phone case and screen protection, it's very easy. What's the item or object that you, you touch or interact with the most every day? It's your cell phone, I think. I personally use my cell phone seven hours a day. So it's quite important to have a phone case and a screen protector with the antiviral protection. For card holder, it's very simple. I think a lot of the institutions or companies require their employees to wear car, car holder. So if your car holder is with antiviral function, you can also use it to press the floor button in the elevator, for example. So it's also very convenient. Currently, Metax is the only company in this world with so much uh, antiviral products uh, with SGS and ISO certified uh, test reports and certification. So this is the niche products and a brand new product series we want to launch. So what's the secret behind Metax Shield? It's a uh, environmentally friendly, non-toxic and self-cleaning material with ultra high temperature resistance. And it can be used on different surface and material. So with that, soon we'll introduce more products like lamp, like medical tent, and this will become a comprehensive product collections. Okay, and then about our expanded sales channels. We have a much greater visibility of Metex brand and products, both online up and offline now. We are using e-commerce platforms and social medias like never before. We have Metex Express service, and we have now our official IG, Facebook, Twitter, everything. Our first Metex brand video uploaded to YouTube generated over 2 million views just within the 60 days, within the past two months. So that brings us a lot of visibility and of course, more uh, inquiries and orders. We partner up with Amazon and New Egg in US to enhance the logistic and distribution capabilities. So we can send to our customers anywhere in the US within a day, maximum two days. And we also acquire new sales channels like Robinson, 7-Eleven, New Egg, and Store, T-Mart, Fisherman, Supermarket, and more. And we cover the top five, three to five, uh, chain stores and ph pharmaceutical stores in Taiwan and Philippines uh, for our products, home branded products. For MA and joint venture, our goal is to gain competitive advantage and market share to increase our capabilities and diversify products and services. I want to emphasize again. We want to establish a resilient supply chain, which is heightened by the Biden administration. So that's why we formed this uh, company called Resilient Medical a couple months back. And with this partnership, uh, our partner will assist us in the site selection of construction for PPE production facility. They have connections with the significant network of uh, healthcare systems, GPOs, hospitals, 
and other uh, distribution channels in the US market. So the JV will allow us to expand our manufacturing capabilities and product offerings, and ultimately expand our revenue streams. So it's more diversified. For global stockpiling service, we actually offer four different solutions or options for our customers. So our customer can be government agencies, inst institutions, healthcare care workers, individuals, because we have the biggest uh, advantage for our experience, our guaranteed continuous supply, because we have distribution capabilities in different parts of the world. And we are reputable and trustworthy. We are dual listed on SGX and Taiwan Stock Exchange. And we have a worldwide logistic network. And of course, with the 17 years of experience doing uh, national stockpiling altogether, we became the unique, one of the kind player to provide these kind of solutions. Okay. And I want to update you guys with our uh, progress in Philippines. So we already started providing our PPEs like uh, N95 cover all isolation gowns, gloves to the uh, Philippine government agencies. And since Philippine now uh, requires and favors local manufacturing and being the biggest PPE uh, manufacturer in in the country, we of course have a huge uh, competitive uh, edge. And also being the founder of uh, CPMP, we are in the position to help set the standard, product standard and specs for the country. And we were also invited uh, by the local authorities to help set up a special economic zone devoted to the manufacturing and distribution of healthcare supplies and commodities, not just PPEs. And so far, we have already won uh, not just uh, PPEs, but also a local military uniform tender at the starting of 2021. We also explored the opportunity to become the supplier of protective uniforms for the nation's government employees and civil servants, which amounts to about like 2 million people. So our goal is to become the go-to guy to serve the nation's need. We can provide not just the respiratory protection, uh, also protective clothing, uniforms, unit uh, camouflage suits, for example, uh, as well as medical devices to ensure every worker can come home safely. For our uh, global procurement platform, we are not just making the talk, we are make, uh, linking up with a different medical device provider. So in February, we acquired exclusive distributorship for the ultrasound handheld ultrasound, which is the ideal device for uh, countries like Philippines with like thousands of islands. And for uh, in February, at the same time, we also signed a distributorship for Animum for their rapid test kit, which, and we already have the, received the grant to uh, sell and distribute the rapid test in the Philippines. And for Q1, we also started conversation with a Taiwanese nebulizer and ventilator brand. So our future focus is building a resilient supply chain. So post COVID-19, countries are of course looking for ways to address supply chain issues to uncover uncover during the pandemic to avoid future shortages in medical equipment and supplies. So in the past 20, 30 years, uh, these countries, these uh, buyers, they rely on a simple trading and buying relationship. 
uh, post-COVID, Metex will partner with government agencies, GPOs, and brand owners to build a supply chain that they can trust, they can rely on. So next time when they when in, uh, face similar challenges, they won't see a huge price um, manipulation or price spike. They know they'll be served because we'll partner up with them. We'll make uh, joint ventures. Uh, we'll actually not only provide manufacturing capabilities, we also do procurement and we make investment together with long-term commitments. We also have the R&D capabilities to make sure whatever products they want, we can supply because we already have an ally of suppliers who's capable of not only manufacturing, but also R&D. So together, we will form an alliance to serve government, government agency pharmacies and drugstores, hospitals, and other institutions. So uh, with our strategy, we want to become a sustainable value stock and at the same time, have the explosive uh, growth potential to also act as a growth stock to secure the best benefits of our shareholders and stakeholders. And in this slide, we have uh, we offer the QR code for the Metex Show collection for your better understanding. We also provided the Metex Express service link, so you can purchase PPEs and other supplies for your loved ones. And I think for next time, I'll put up a link for our shareholders for early bird discounts. All right. So Metex, we safeguard every tomorrow. Thank you.